Pickett Repair in Lake Stevens, Washington, just a little bit north of Seattle. And uh, so Kevin Pickett runs the show here, and it's Pickett Repair. Guess what kind of repairs they do? Hmm. Let's take a look inside. So this has been a long time coming. Kevin, I think, contacted me probably back in maybe December or January and asked about a press break. And uh, so we hooked him up with a with Ben Force Precision Series. We'll show you that in a minute. But just a quick little tour of his shop. Man, he's got some super nice stuff going on here. Check out this Sigmund fixture table. He said he's had it about 10 years. Obviously, he takes care of his stuff. The guy's name's Kevin Pick <clears throat> Pickett, and it's Pickett Repair. But, hey, he does fence pickets also. Check out this Snap-On collection right here. I kind of felt bad for sending him, uh, selling him an expensive break, but when you come and look at all of his other stuff, I maybe should have charged him more. I mean, just picked up this baby right here. Brand new cat. I didn't get too much on video of uh, the training and all that, but we will show you a little bit of training on the Benforce eight foot 145 ton machine. So we've been bending up a few samples. If you think you might want one of these, check them out on benforcebrakes.com. Okay, starting from scratch, new yep. product, two two. Post cap, already named it. Yep. Properties, thickness. That was something on that last part. I just hit one, or excuse me, oh, point one two five is what I entered on that last part, even though we didn't mic it. Okay. Steel bending length once two point eight five ninety. Enter. Bend looks good. Bend two is flipped inwards. I'm gonna flip it outwards. Hit bend. There's our length. Looks there. good. 4.89. If I could have centered it a little better. Oh man, just a fuzz open, which is fine by me for our test piece. So after it does the initial drop, can I stop? You can, you can. And yep. center this up or yep. whatever? Okay, I can let off the pedal safely without, yep. if I need to. About that. My first box. A little shop update. My new three-phase line coming in. Hopefully we can get off the temporary meter soon. Pretty sweet, huh? So there's a press brake, just like the one in this video, brand new. Talk about like the ultimate combination, man. This right here, these two paired together, six kilowatt, 2.5 G accelerating machine, 166,000. 
eight foot, 145 ton servo brake like you just saw in the video. And those are on my benforcebrakes.com website. They're 65,000. And uh, that one back there is sold. This one's available packaged with this one, but I will separate it obviously. If you get it as a package and you wanna come here for training, I'll make you a sweet deal. Don't ask me if you don't have the money to buy it. It ain't gonna be like half the price or anything, but I mean, probably take like 15,000 off. If you come here, spend three, four days getting it trained and we hot shot it to you, label all the connections and let you re-get re it going. I'll take 15,000 off if you buy them both. So anyway, three phase. These were in my old shop and now got them back in the new area. So anyway, you see Matt on the forklift there. Kind of getting some stuff cleared out of the old shop so we can do some repairs in there. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to show this. Um, this is all ready to go. Um, we're just waiting maybe for about another week to get our three phase uh, powered up. And uh, so again, this is a six kilowatt, 2.5 G accelerating machine. You see the canted gantry there. This is the uh, Osprey six kilowatt head. Pretty neat feature right here. Normally, this is beam alignment, beam centering. And uh, normally on most of the heads, you have Allen screws kind of on an angle that you mess with to get that centered up. Kind of handy to have a couple of thumb screw, knurled thumb screw knobs there uh, for that, you know, like a little tune in Tokyo. But another thing is you could accidentally, you know, maybe somebody accidentally turn these. And obviously you don't want that happening while you're, uh, while you're trying to run the machine. So Max Photonics, uh, G5 power source, and I didn't point it out, but this has got the G5 connector here. All the bounce back reflection protection built into this. Instead of the old QBH style, this is G5. And I'm gonna start, um, this, this here unit goes with the machine, um, but I've got them in there and other, other voltages too if needed. But uh, this is pretty sweet. Um, it is a transformer and stabilizer built into one. Like usually you have a separate transformer and stabilizer, but this is all in one. So a little bit of a space saving design. This is an 80 kVA, plenty, plenty enough to run this machine. 240 in, 380 volts out. And uh, you know, so if you have 208 or 480, I got them, uh, I got them for you. So if you look in that room in there, we got a ton of uh, transformers and, and stuff. So we got a little bit more uh, to do finishing this one up and then we'll get our, uh, get our three phase connected and fire this bad boy up and show you maybe in the next video some demos of that running.